Hey guys, welcome to another entry of Diary of a Makeup Artist. Today our look is going to be inspired by MAC's new Fafi collection. Now the collection has been out for a couple of weeks um, and I'm going to do a video on that. So some of the products that I'll be using will be the eyeshadow bases in Cashflow, Rollickin, and Nice Vice. And I'm going to be using the Fafi Eyes 2 quad which looks like this so the first thing I'm going to do is get started with the eyeshadow base in Rollickin which is kind of a sea green it's really pretty and I'm going to start with applying that on my lid area And I love these paint pots because some of the paint pots that MAC carries, they're um, really creamy. But for some reason, these particular paint pots are a little bit drier, which is good because they dry down really well. And when you put your eyeshadow on top of it, you have a better chance of it not creasing. And if you do find that eyeshadows are creasing on you when you use them over the paint pots, just make sure that you're not using too much of it. Um, but again, with these, since they're drier than most, you can get away with using a lot more so that you can intensify the color. So I would just say play around with them and find out which ones will work well for you. This green is so pretty. I love this one. Okay. All right, so we got our base on there. Next, I'm going to use the paint pot in Cash Flow, which is a metallic gold and this one is also from the Fafi collection and this is going to go right underneath my brow just to base that area for my highlight color And if it helps, guys, you can also blend out with your finger. And the brush that I'm using is a concealer brush. This particular one is by Lancome. It's the number eight brush. And I like to use these type of brushes when you're using more uh, emollient products which have some conditioners and some oils in them. And anything that's cream or liquid, I like using these brushes. They'll give you more of a concentrated look with whatever it is you're using. It'll The look will be more concentrated. If you use a, a, a drier brush or a more fluffier brush like this one, it'll give you more of an airbrush finish So, because it, it'll pick up less product and kind of massage the product into the skin. Okay. And I'm going to use quite a few bases. I'm going to use the Nice Vice base, which is a plum purple. I'm going to do that in the crease. So I really want to show this collection. It's a really, really good collection. And I really want to show this and show the colors and the range of colors in this collection. Okay, so again, just putting the nice vise in the crease area. Okay, so we have that done. 
Next, I'm gonna move on to eyeshadows, and I'm gonna start with the green. And this green is, is pretty bright, it's, it's very pretty. It's called You're Fresh. And the key, guys, when putting powder eyeshadow over the top of a base is to pat it on. And also, you want to knock any excess off of your brush before you apply. But you want to go ahead and pat on the color. And that way, it can adhere to the cream. And the creams are going to make your eyeshadows pop out more and stand out. It'll give them a little something to stick to so they'll last longer too. So you might want to try putting a base on in the morning with your makeup. That way throughout the day um, the eyeshadow should still be good. It should still look vibrant. A lot of people tell me that they'll put on their makeup in the morning and then halfway through the day the makeup is gone. They don't understand why and I always recommend that they use an eyeshadow base because this is going to take care of that problem. So again just putting the Year Fresh on the lid. And once you get a couple layers of shadows on it's okay to go ahead and do the windshield wiper effect if you want. You just don't want to do it in the beginning because you want to give the eyeshadow time to set and you don't want to move the cream. Okay, put on a little more green here. Okay, next I'm going to be using the gold in this quad and it's called Bold as Gold. Again, patting on that eyeshadow. So you can get that concentrated look. Okay. Next, I'm going to be moving on and I'm going to switch to the pencil brush because I'm going to go ahead and define my crease area. And I will be using Shockwave, which is the orange here, bright orange. Again, knocking off the excess. So we're just drawing this on in our crease area. Making sure we get the color as bright as we want it. And as you guys can tell, I like my colors pretty bright. So we have went ahead and put the shock wave on there. So I'm going to go ahead and blend all of the colors here. And when you're blending, what you're looking for basically is to make sure that you don't see any hard lines and that you blend everything out. You don't really want to be able to tell where one color starts and stops. Just want a blended area here. And in the event that when you're blending you knock down some of your color, it's okay to go back and add just a little bit more. That happens a lot, so you can definitely go ahead and place in a little more color. Okay. 